So ASHG is engaged in a number of activities uh, to promote awareness of genetics and genomics, uh, also to uh, help support funding uh, for our research. So for example, recently we participated in Hill Day where we met with representatives of a number of con uh, congressional delegations. Well, it's very important that we engage representatives from Congress and other entities because ultimately they vote on funding. They vote on, for example, the NIH budget. So we always, when we're talking with them, try to emphasize the importance of public spending on health-related research. While we're seeing genetics and genomics incorporated increasingly in medicine, uh, for example, uh, with regard to genetic testing, more and more physicians are ordering genetic tests for their patients uh, to diagnose more quickly and more accurately. Gene therapy is actually becoming a reality. Finding the causes of diseases, that is the genetic causes, of diseases often leads to better targeted drug therapy. Uh, so I think it's fair to say that genetics is really becoming an integral part of the practice of medicine. We also commissioned a report uh, earlier this year supported by ASHG on the economic benefits of human genetics and genomics research. It showed uh, that human genetics and genomics drives $265 billion a year in economic activity just in the United States. It supports 850,000 well-paying jobs. So the economic impact now of human genetics and genomics is truly enormous, uh, to say nothing of the incredible health benefits that derive from our research. So a very important priority for the American Society of Human Genetics and for the GPAC committee is engaging uh, underserved minorities, uh, involving uh, members of those populations in our research. That is, both as participants and as investigators, uh, we encourage especially young people to become involved in human genetics and genomics research. Uh, it's vital uh, that we have as diverse a workforce as possible. Having been involved in human genetics now for several decades, one of the things I've seen is that there are many roles that one can play that contribute to our field. One of those roles is to become actively involved in policy, in advocacy, in public outreach. We have an advocates program uh, where people can become advocates uh, for human genetics and genomics research. If you go to our website, uh, you will find guidance on how to do that. Uh, but it doesn't cost anything, uh, and uh, it allows you to become uh, an even more active member of the American Society of Human Genetics.